What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Maze Runner The Death Cure. Let's rock this. Maze Runner The Death Cure is way, way, way more action packed than the previous two films. This movie is all about jam packing itself with one big action set piece after another. And you know what? Most of them are quite entertaining. Far-fetched and ridiculous at times, but still, entertaining. Maze Runner The Death Cure isn't concerned about bringing you up to speed. It's more concerned about concluding the whole saga by going out on a blaze of glory. Once again directed by Wes Ball, this is the third and final chapter of the saga starring Dylan O'Brien as Thomas, who along with his fellow Glader's friends, sets out to break into Wicked's so-called Last City in order to rescue Mino. This final and most dangerous mission yet will also uncover the secret behind the cure that everybody's after. Co-starring Caio Scodelario, Thomas Brody Sangster, Giancarlo Esposito, Aidan Gillen, Ki Hong Lee, Barry Pepper, Will Poulter, and Patricia Clarkson. I actually enjoyed the first Maze Runner movie because even though I suck at solving puzzles, I actually do like watching people try to solve puzzles. And that's what the first movie was to me. A bunch of kids trying to outsmart the tricks that come with the Glade. The second movie was just an absolute snoozer. It was so boring, it almost put me to sleep twice during the screening. I mean, pointless sand dunes journey, a tiresome government conspiracy, and then they throw in sprinting zombies just for the hell of it. And it's kind of weird that they still have the word maze as part of the title, when clearly a literal maze is no longer involved. Unless the meaning of the maze has become deeper now and it goes over my head. This third and final installment, however, runs like a speed demon, like a bat out of hell, even though it's 2 hours and 20 minutes long, but it flies by really fast. Because like I said earlier, it is a series of big action set pieces, non-stop, one after the other. If the characters aren't busy trying to evade the bad guys shooting at them, then they're probably busy rescuing a bunch of kids while attempting a high wire act at the same time. Or perhaps they're busy trying to survive through the revolt that's happening around them. But one can argue that the movie fails to give compelling character development. Well, be that as it may, the film keeps me awake. And some of the death scenes are quite glorious for a young adult genre. Throughout the film, I get the impression that the people who made this just wanted to get it over with, and they wanted to get it over with by tying up loose ends and finishing whatever subplots needed finishing, even if it means it all has to come crashing down. So that's my review of Maze Runner The Death Cure. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and share this video with all your friends on the YouTube verse and subscribe to my channel. This video is made possible thanks to your support on Patreon. So go to patreon.com slash ramascreen, sign up there today, and become my patrons. Let's rock this.